My name is Stephen Chung. I am the Senior Vice President of Supply Chain and Real Estate for SCL Health. I would like to thank you for the opportunity to present our project and our ODP amendment request ahead of our City Council meeting scheduled for April 13th. I would like to also acknowledge and express our appreciation for the flexibility to have this virtual meeting so that we can continue to make progress on our project. I would like to cover five areas, provide some background on who SCL Health is, show the site location of the project, discuss the proposed amendment to the development plan, provide project information for the proposed medical plant campus, and finally discuss the process we have undertaken. I would like to start the conversation by providing some background on SCL Health. We are a faith-based community health care provider who we are is reflected in our mission, vision, and values with a particular focus on serving our communities, especially the poor and vulnerable. Our commitment to the community is reflected in the community benefit we provide. In 2018, we provided over 240 million of charity care and community programs across our system. SEL Health is headquartered in Broomfield, Colorado, has eight hospitals and 140 plus clinics serving Colorado, Montana, and Kansas. Specifically to the Denver metro area, SEL Health has been serving the Denver community for nearly 150 years. Our first hospital, St. Joseph, opened its doors in 1873. The last new medical campus SEL Health built was Good Samaritan in 2005. I would like to pivot our discussion to the Lutheran Hospital. Lutheran has a long legacy in the community of Wheat Ridge starting in 1905. More specifically about Lu the Lutheran Hospital and the Lutheran campus, currently Lutheran has over 400 hospital beds, employs 2,000 people with 900 physicians providing services and 600 volunteers. Annually, we have 12,000 inpatient stays, 6,500 ER visits, 2,000 births, and 120,000 outpatient visits. Lutheran plays a significant role in providing community benefits programs to Wheat Ridge and the surrounding communities. And most importantly, Lutheran provides quality health care. We are consistently recognized by various health care associations for our quality care. I would now like to move the discussion to the location of the proposed Lutheran Medical Campus. The Lutheran Medical Campus Center's new home will be located on the southwest corner of I-70 and the Highway 58 interchange. It is approximately 27 acres in size and is part of the new 100-acre Clear Creek Crossing mixed-use development. Here are the views of the site from I-70 looking west and from the 40th Avenue looking north. Both photographs were taken before the construction of the Denver water transmission line and the CDOT hook ramps. I would now like to discuss the specific ODP amendment. First, it is important to understand that the proposed uses are currently allowed under the existing zone designation. We are making one requested change to the current zone requirements to increase the allowable height of the hospital. We are asking for a height increase from 90 feet to 102 feet for the patient floors and a height increase to 135 feet to accommodate a helipad, elevator, and vestibule. The helipad height increase is limited to the helipad area only. As for the overall project, this is an overview of the conceptual layout. SEL Health will be replacing the Lutheran Medical Center with a new hospital with approximately 250 beds and the associated patient care services currently at our existing hospital. Two medical offices and a parking structure are also components of the campus master plan. This is an aerial view looking southwest from above the I-70 and Highway 58 interchange. The hospital and MOBs are shown in gray fronting I-70. The parking structure is shown in purple with the adjacent apartment project is shown in yellow to the west. Here is an aerial view looking northeast. This is a view of the hospital building from I-70. A small portion of the hospital height increase will be the elevator overrun for the helipad. 
This is the eastbound view on I-70. The hospital site sits low in a small valley, part of the Clear Creek topography. Here is the view from the Applewood Golf Course. The slide shows a 90-foot hospital with the overrun for an elevator. For comparison, this is the same view of the proposed height of 102 feet for the hospital and 135 feet for the elevator overrun. Here is a building section diagram of the proposed hospital on the right. The building section shows the proposed six stories, which is the same number of stories at the existing Lutheran Hospital. On the left is a view of the existing six-story Lutheran Medical Center. Even though the two buildings are the same number of stories, an additional 11 feet in height is needed to meet today's building codes and to accommodate the size of today's medical equipment, i.e. large floor-to-ceiling height clearance is required. This view shows the area where the 135 feet in height is needed for the helipad overrun and elevator vestibules. This is shown in red. As you can see from the design, the height overruns for the helipad and elevator represent a very small footprint relative to the overall development. Based on similar facility operations, we anticipate five flights per month. There are two important factors in understanding why the helipad on the roof. The first is safety. Placing the helipad on the roof of the hospital is the safest and most efficient solution for most hospitals for several reasons, and is certainly the most safe for this site. Helipad roof placement supports the most expedient transfer of patients from the helicopter to the emergency facilities within the hospital, which is always the highest priority. A rooftop helipad is also the safest method for a helicopter to access the hospital because there are fewer vertical obstructions to navigate. This results in safer and quicker takeoff and landings and allows the helicopter to take off into the wind, the optimal direction for helicopters. Pedestrian safety is also increased with rooftop versus ground level helipads because of the reduced likelihood of dangerous swirling winds and airborne debris that typically occurs from the rotors at ground level. Secondly, the noise. Impacts to the neighborhood development from noise generated by helicopters is better mitigated by helicopters on the rooftop than those at ground level. A quicker takeoff and landing allows for the helicopter to be in the area for a lesser duration, and with the elevated height, the noise volume is reduced as the distance to the adjacent property is increased. Noise from the helicopter does not have the opportunity to reverberate off vertical surfaces of the hospital and bounce toward adjacent properties, reducing the chance that the sound is amplified horizontally. To provide a specific reference to our height requirement, we have included with this submittal a reference to the completed St. Joseph Hospital in Denver, showing the height of the elevator overrun and the machine equipment room above it. The project was constructed in 2013 and is a good example of what is proposed. The difference in height to the top of the parapet and the top of the wall of the elevator machine room at the St. Joseph Hospital is 31 feet. The proposed hospital has similar needs and we are requesting a height of 33 feet above the parapet. St. Joseph Hospital was designed eight years ago and the elevator system technologies have changed over time so the additional two feet of height provides us with needed design flexibility to accommodate current technologies and code clearance requirements. Lastly, I would like to provide you an overview of our process that we have gone through for the ODP amendment. In terms of the process that we have completed, we met with the city in September of 2019 to discuss the project. We conducted neighborhood meetings last October. We submitted the ODP amendment at the end of last year. The Planning Commission approved the ODP amendment on February 20th. This brings us here today for City of Council approval. In closing, the Lutheran Medical Center is committed to continuing our legacy of collaboration and support with the City of Reet Ridge and the surrounding communities. Lutheran will continue to be a good neighbor, contribute to the vitality of the business community as the city's largest employer, provide high quality, low cost health care to patients and families we have the privilege to serve. We thank you for your time and look forward to continuing to facilitate an open and engaging dialogue with our as our plans develop. Thank you.